This is the solution to quiz 10. <clears throat> okay, so then we want to sketch that region. Well, uh, so this is the x-axis, so it looks like a horizontal line. This is an exponential decay function, so it looks it looks like this. And that is a vertical line to the left of the origin. So it looks like that. So all three of those need to be <coughs> combined to make a sketch. So again, this is not necessarily to scale. So over here, we've got negative 7.19. And then this horizontal axis is, of course, y is 0. And the exponential function, exponential decay function, looks something like this. So that is y is exponential of negative x. And then the region uh, that we want is all of this. So it's, this region is unbounded uh, going that way. It keeps going. Uh, so part B is, well, we'll use the same technique uh, we do every time. We encounter an improper integral like this. And uh, we'll Consider the region in question. We'll truncate it at some finite place. Uh, let's call this truncation point. We need to give it a name. How about uh, we call it uh, W? So now, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate just that much area. Which is now a bounded region. Which means that we can, um, we can use our integral methods. Uh, so, for the area, the answer will be integral negative 7.19 to w, uh, and then we're going to integrate exponential of negative x dx. Uh, well, that will be exponential of negative x divided by negative 1 from negative 7.19 to w. I'll spend that negative 1 to reverse the order of evaluation so that uh, we get um, so that we get what? 1 over e to x and then evaluated from w to negative 7.19 Uh, which is, okay, <laughs> so 1 over exponential of negative 7.19, 
minus 1 over w. And then we can evaluate that, uh, not 1 over w, 1 over exponential of w. Uh, then we can plug that into our calculator. And determine that that's 1, 3, 2, 6, point one zero three to a few places past the decimal, and then minus uh, 1 over the exponential of w. Uh, so that's the answer, and then we can, to find the full area, to find the area of R, because this area right here, this value right here, is not the area of R. This is the um, area of... that region in terms of W. So to find the area of R, we'll, com we'll let W go to infinity. So the limit as W goes to infinity of 1326.103 minus 1 over the exponential of W well, of course, that constant doesn't depend on w. The exponential of w goes to infinity as w goes to infinity, so 1 over that goes to 0. So the answer is just 1326.103. And of course, the joke is that 1326 has showed up again. OK. So. What we want to do is we want to evaluate integral 0 to infinity of uh, the total value. So that's uh, this, 0 0.10 t dt. So we want to do that. However, uh, this integral is improper because of that infinity. So we'll do the same uh, procedure as before. So we'll truncate to some finite position. Uh, integral 0 to, uh, how about, big T. And then a 1,000 exponential negative 0 0.10 little t dt. Now, uh, this is proper. So that's to say that because t is more than 0, finite, this has become proper, a proper integral. So we can use the fundamental theorem. So this is a thousand exponential of negative 0 0.10 t over negative 0 0.10 from 0 to big T. Uh, I'll divide the point 10 into there to get 10,000. Uh, then I'll spend the negative to switch the order of evaluation. And I'll put the exponential factor in the denominator so that it has a positive exponent. Evaluating that. 
that's 10,000. And then multiplied by, well, if you plug in 0, you get 1. And then minus uh, 1 over the exponential of 0 0.10 big T. And so now we'll do uh, the limit. We'll let big T become infinite. So the limit as big T goes to infinity of that expression, 10,000, 1 minus 1 over exponential of 0 0.10 big T. Well, of course, the only thing that depends on big T is that exponential thing. That exponential thing goes to infinity, so 1 over it goes to 0. So we get 10,000 multiplied by 1 minus 0. Uh, and as a result, uh, the total value of the money flow on the interval uh, on the interval ze 0 to infinity, that is to say until the end of time, is 10,000. Interesting. So question 3, evaluate the improper integral. Okay, so again, we'll truncate it. Uh, truncate it uh, at B. So 1.152 to B of x exponential of negative x squared dx. So we have to do this uh, truncation because that infinite limit makes this improper. And when we take, we'll truncate this at a finite b, which is to the right of 1.152. That truncation makes this integral proper, which says, which makes it permissible for us to proceed with all of our integral methods. Okay. I'll do the substitution. u is negative x squared. du is negative uh, 2x dx. So that du over negative 2 is x dx. I'll go ahead and switch the limits now. So u evaluated at 1.152. Is what? Is negative uh, 1.327104. And uh, u evaluated at b is negative b squared. This becomes uh, the integral from that value, negative 1.327104 to negative b squared of exponential of u du over negative 2. Okay. So that's 1 over negative 2 exponential of u evaluated from negative 1.327104 to negative b squared. <coughs> OK, so I'll spend that negative value to switch the order. 
that's now positive half exponential and then negative b squared to negative 1.32714 half, and then plugging that value into the calculator, exponential, exponential of negative 1.32714 is 0. 2652 44298 and then minus exponential of negative b squared. So that's the that's the answer when we truncate at um, at b. So now we're going to let b go all the way to the right in limit. So the limit as b goes to infinity of uh, that thing there, well, that'd be half. And then that number there, 2652-44298. And then I'll write that as minus 1 over the exponential of b squared. Well, b squared goes to infinity. Exponential of that goes to infinity. 1 over that goes to 0. So the answer is half 0 0.2652 44298 minus 0, and then multiplying that through gives the number 0 0.13262214.